I love roast chicken, and I'm going to show you a little trick to get a fantastic roast chicken in your oven. And to begin with, we put some salt into the vent here. I'm going to stuff it with some herbs and some things that give it some great flavour. The first thing is an onion. I take the onion and quarter it and pop it into the vent. I've got some fresh thyme here, but you can use any herb that you like. Pop it into the back here. Garlic cloves, these are fantastic. I've just peeled them and I'll pop them straight into the middle. Now, lemon is fantastic with chicken. It gives it some sharpness. So I cut a lemon in half and squeeze it a little bit as I push it into the chicken. Now, a little bit of butter goes in there as well because we want it to taste really good. So a little bit of butter is perfect. Now, to hold it all together, I'll use some string. I just put the string around the back here that holds the wings in place, a little tiny knot to make sure that that doesn't come undone. And then to hold these legs together, I just push them together like that and tie the string around them. The reason I trust the chicken, you hold everything together so it cooks nice and evenly. Now, this is my little secret. I've got a rotisserie oven and believe me, when that chicken spins round and around and cooks nice and gently, this will taste delicious. Now with the skewer, I push it all the way through there and with these little spikes here, these little prongs, I push them into place. This other little skewer goes on the other side here, as simple as that. Now the little tip is to make sure you screw them down so these little spikes here are locked in place. And then all we need to do is season the outside of the chicken with plenty of salt. Turn that over on this side, plenty of salt on that side. A little drizzle of olive oil is all you need to get things started. So I grab the oil and rub it on the outside like that and that's looking perfect. The little handle on the end, which will help me move it later on, and I'll show you what comes up next. While it's cooking, all the juices will drip off the bottom, and I don't want to waste any of those juices, so I'll put a tray underneath it. And on that tray, some beautiful baby potatoes and red onions. Now, I'll just slice the onions in half because they will soften and caramelise in the oven. If I cut them too small, they'll burn. So they go on the tray as well with some garlic cloves, sprinkle them around, a couple of knobs of butter to get that flavour happening and some fresh thyme. Sprinkle that over the top. But of course, we need some salt as well to go on here and a little bit of pepper. So what we have here is the makings of a delicious roast chicken. Okay, we're good to go. Pop the tip into the motor hole so it spins around and then remove the handle at the end. Set the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius. This will take about 45 minutes and slide the potatoes and onions underneath to soak up all those juices. Nothing beats the smell of a freshly roasted chicken. And look at these potatoes and onions. A little bit of parsley on the top there like that. This is a fantastic little treat. Now, I grab some of the onions and potatoes and I just pop them around the plate to sort of give it a bed to nestle on. And this has been roasted to perfection. And look at the potatoes. Who needs chicken salt when you've got real chicken potatoes? Now, this is the most important part. Grab a tea towel and grab that tray because all the juices, all the flavour that's on this tray is what's going to make this chicken delicious. Oh, fantastic. The herbs, the parsley on there and the shine that it gives, that looks fantastic. You know it's going to be delicious. You know it's going to be great. All you need to do is take a wing off because really I am a wingman and have a little taste of that. Mm. That is fantastic. Perfectly cooked, and most importantly, the most delicious chicken I'll eat today.